You might think being a good engineer is about writing a lot of code and doing it quickly with high quality. However, the best engineers have one additional superpower of writing well. And writing well for humans is actually quite distinct from writing well for a computer, which is what we call programming. In this video, I'll talk about why writing is so important as a software engineer and how you can start taking steps today to get better. Writing well for humans is especially important for two types of engineers. First, if you're at a large company. At a large company, by definition, there are a lot of engineers, more than you can reasonably talk to in your organization or even your team. So there are a lot of engineers, but what there's a shortage of is the ability to break down a problem and communicate that clearly to all the engineers in your org or your team. And the way you do that is through writing. Writing is also very important if you're a senior or staff or plus level engineer. As a senior engineer, influence is your most important asset. And the highest leverage way that you can actually direct and communicate with a bunch of people and have that impact through others is through writing. Think about all the tools and resources you use today in your job. I can guarantee you that all of them are written down, or at least they should be. Things like design documentation, uh, progress report status updates, or even things like code review. Writing is fundamental to how we get things done at work. The benefit of writing is that it can be easily shared, searched, and edited over time. And these are properties that you don't get with other forms of communication, like a one-on-one, -on -one, a verbal communication, or through a video. And because of these properties, writing is core to how decisions get made and tracked over time at every organization I've ever worked at. Therefore, being able to write effectively and have something that you write actually be read by other people is fundamental to you becoming more senior in your career as an engineer. Think about something as basic as performance review, which happens almost entirely over writing. And the reason is because you don't want there to be ambiguity around how you're doing or how your peers are doing for something as important as performance review. And so being able to craft a thoughtful narrative about how your peers are doing and being able to advocate for yourself in your self-review is critical to you advancing as an engineer in industry. At Facebook, there was one really powerful example of writing used effectively in the workplace. I occasionally contributed code to a product which was going undergoing a really major re-architecture. And so the Uber tech lead for the whole org, we're talking about a 200 person org, he basically wrote down a 15 page doc which described the current architecture, the problems with it, and where he wanted to end up, along with three very clear milestones, complete with diagrams on how we would end up getting there. And that was, I think, fundamental to being able to get buy-in from the whole org and actually starting to, starting to enable people to work on it effectively. I wanted to mention here that verbal communication is definitely also important, especially if you're a manager. However, as an individual contributor, I would argue that written communication is by far the more critical skill. There have been a lot of examples in my career of engineers who have a hard time talking with other folks, but their written communication is precise and clear, and they still succeed because of that. Here are a few ways you can improve your writing. First, make a weekly or bi-weekly update about your project. Presumably what you're working on at work is important and people care about it, and so a uh, regular cadence of updates will be really welcome. And this is a really good way to force you to write down what has happened, make it concise and clear, and get constant feedback about if what you wrote is actually making sense to the people around you. Number two, if you don't have the opportunity to write a lot at work right now, what you can do is basically get together a bunch of your friends and write an email to them. So what I did is back in 2017, I literally took the email addresses of 100 of my friends and every two or three months, I would commit to sending them an update about my life or a reflection I had. And that was a really good way for me to have a forced audience and it would make me write again on a habitual basis. Finally, if even that is too nerve wracking for you, just write for yourself. Every morning when I wake up, I write, I write a reflection on what I did the previous day and what my goals are for the upcoming day. And the point here is that you just wanna create a habit around writing, it's like a muscle. You just wanna exercise that muscle every day. And keep in mind, for the best writers, the majority of their time is actually spent editing and not in writing. So write something and then come back and edit it. Make sure that your clarity of thought is there. Make sure that it's as short as it possibly can be. And I guarantee you'll become a better writer. Speaking of writing regularly, if you liked this video, you should join the Tech Career Growth mailing list, where I send out one email a month about how you can accelerate your tech career. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.